And I'd like to get your, your opinion on the year in general. I mean, did you think for the United States it was a, a good year or a disaster year, or how would you rate it? Oh, somewhere in between, a little, a little closer to disaster than to good, mm -hmm. wouldn't you say? Uh, for me, personally, it was a terrible year, yes, but yeah. for the country at large. Even though you don't live in Detroit. Yes, but my mother scribbled soul brother on the side of a synagogue. <laughs> Moving on from there, I want to ask a question because there's somebody in the, the dock there or at the lectern. Mr. Buckley, who would you like to see as the presidential nominee for 1968? Oh, well, somebody who would beat Johnson. <laughs> could be anybody, including the Boston Strangler. <laughs> Lady, what's your question? Mr. Buckley, do you think miniskirts are in good taste? Do I think what? Miniskirts are in good taste. On you, I think they are. <laughs> good legs are in good taste. Good legs. I never would have figured you for that kind. <laughs> I figured it was straight politics, and that was it. You, sir. Well, what, what would your reactions be to a conservative president? A conservative president? I, my opinion has hostile. always been... Not hostile. I, I would like to see you or another conservative be president for Two a months. year. <laughs> and I think it would cure the United States of conservatism forever. <laughs> I notice... I notice, uh, I, I think the probability is that you voted for Lyndon Johnson. Uh, I, uh, I didn't. And it's interesting uh, how many people are dissatisfied with uh, the alternative to conservatism. You remind me a little bit of the, uh, yeah, even in war, said one time about Nancy Midford, said, you know, she voted for the socialists after the war in England. And having done her best to make England uninhabitable, she went to France to live. <laughs> you people were complaining about Lyndon Johnson, the ones who voted for him. We, we are, but we were faced with a bleak, if not miserable, alternative. <laughs> Mr. Allen, in your terms, what does liberal mean? Liberal? Oh. Well, you've, you've got me on this. Uh, I, uh, I, if, let me, if, if a girl... <laughs> if a girl will neck with me, she's liberal. If Mr. Buckley will neck with me, he's very liberal. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Buckley, do you think Robert Kennedy will ever become president of the United States? Well, if he can induce all the Kennedys to vote for him, yes. 